I think markets are struggling for leadership and direction at the moment. Um, the background environment is still one of stable, reasonable economic growth. And for the first time in a long time, most major and developing economies are enjoying that, that growth. Central banks have and still remain very supportive. Um, and that generates decent earnings growth. And as so long why are as we struggling for direction? Everything you just said is like, yeah, after the races. So why are we struggling for direction? Because I think markets have had a good run. I think valuations are stretched in some areas, not in all. I think we're, there's a lot more uncertainty politically in the world, despite some of the elections in Europe maybe going um, in favour of, of, of European um, governments. Um, so I think there's increased uncertainty, definitely. But valuations are full. Markets Where had a good run. Where are they full? You said in most areas, but not all. Yeah, particularly in the US. Valuations in the US are full. They're not yet at bubble or stretch levels that would worry us materially in some sectors and some stocks may be. And remember, we're in an alpha-driven environment rather as much as a macro top-down environment. Mm -hmm. That's very important. But when you look at valuations in Europe, particularly in small and mid-cap, when you look at valuations in Japan, again, mainly in mid and small cap, if you look at emerging market valuations, and even in the UK, some of the large cap stocks, valuations are, are more reasonable. Um, valuations are, of course, also stretched in bond markets uh, to, some, to some extent, so it's sure. not just in equity markets. So All I right. think for us, you really have to look at alpha and maybe areas where valuations are favourable, more favourable. All right, you've set out your stall. Jeffrey. I mean, one would expect then we'd have a much more dramatic rotation into cyclically geared sectors as a result of that. And finally, maybe money would start coming out of growth and it would start moving out of the bond market more aggressively. But it doesn't seem that that's happening at this stage. Why is that if, if growth is sustainable and is here? Because I think um, investors realise that the secular trends in the global economy remain dominant. Mm. And those secular trends are too much debt, poor demographics, um, disinflationary environment, um, and one of, of a low productivity growth, which implies that global growth is going to remain below trend with disinflationary pressures for some for some time to come um, so uh, and at the same time there's a lot of in increased uncertainty about what central banks are going to do from here I think nobody the markets are complacent at the moment they don't believe central banks are going to do anything silly and tighten policy too aggressively but nonetheless there's uncertainty there for the first time in a long time not just about what the Fed will do but about what the ECB will do and what about the Bank of England will do so it's a combination of those two things